Good morning, fourth graders. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Today, I'm gonna to go over our lesson for today and for tomorrow, and then guess what? You are done for the week. You just have Monday and Tuesday of this week, and I hope you guys enjoy some time off and get some, um, have some fun. I'm sure you guys are getting enough sleep though since you're staying at home. But let's start our new concept today over geometry. Now, some of these names and um, will be familiar to you and some will not. But let's go over this chart together. Now, this is a point. You guys should know what that means. And then we have a line segment that has a beginning and an end. And then we have a line that has no beginning and no end. It just keeps going on forever. And then you have a ray, which has a beginning and no end. Now, look at these lines right here. We talked about these a lot last year. These are called intersecting lines, which means they have a point of intersection. They cross at some point. And then we have parallel lines that are two lines that do not cross. And then right here, do you guys remember what this is? This is an angle. And what this is, is two rays made up together. So that makes an angle. And we know that angles have different degrees. And you're gonna learn more about that in fifth and sixth grade. But right now you just need to know that this is called an angle and it's two rays put together. And then we have a right angle. And do you guys remember what a right angle, what the degrees of a right angle is? If you said 90 degrees, you're exactly right. And then right here we have congruent angles. Now that word congruent means the same. So these angles are the same. Now, right here, this is called a perpendicular lines. And perpendicular lines are lines that intersect, but when they intersect, they make right angles. If you'll look very closely on this chart, or if you look in your book, you will see how there's a box right there in the middle. And when you can make a box or a square like that, that means that there is, that's an angle that has 90 degrees. It's a right angle. And then you guys are gonna to learn tomorrow about some simple closed shapes and some polygons. Now, if you'll flip over to your page for tomorrow, you can kind of go along with me there. Now, a simple closed curve or shape is something that does not have any intersecting lines. As you can see, none of these lines intersect. And then you also have a poly polygon, which your book says is made up of a closed curve made up of line segments. So these are just made up of different line segments. Now, some of these polygons you are ex extremely familiar with. You learned those in kindergarten with Mrs. Hats. And so we know this is called a triangle. It has three sides. So it's a polygon that is made up of three sides. And then you have a rhombus. Now this one is a little bit probably not as familiar. And I like to call this just kind of looks like a slanted square. It has, um, it's parallel, a uh, parallelogram that has four side sides. And it just kind of looks like a slanted square to me. So remember that this is a rhombus. Then you have a rectangle, which a rectangle has is a parallelogram with four right angles. Again, if you can see how you can count the squares there, one, two, three, four. That means that there, there are right angles in this polygon. And then last but not least, it is a parallelogram. And this is where the opposite sides are parallel. And remember parallelograms or parallel lines do not intersect. Well, we're gonna be doing a lot with these different types of shapes over the next couple of weeks, and I look forward to you guys learning more about them. Hope you have a great day.